Bobby. Where are you? Hey, did you just call me a, a couple minutes ago? Don't fool me. What was I wearing tonight? Just, just answer, please. I had the strange feeling that I was being watched. But it was okay. I mean, the night. And then I slowly took off all my clothes. <laughs> well, of course I'm kidding, dummy. <laughs> Actually, I... You know, someone watching me, slowly and slowly. You're really a creep for scaring me like that. Huh? Oh, damn. I left you in the car. Did you need it tonight? Um, um, this girl's never going to see the morning. Hold on. Another? No, I think 
one helmet. Oh! Hello? Hi, Charlie. What do you mean, am I alone? It's Friday night. The night for swinging singles to hell. Why would I be alone? No, I wasn't sleeping. Tom Snyder just left. Hmm. Well, it wasn't that bad. Ma. No, 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 I'm all right. Yeah, okay. Normally, a fall like that wouldn't have killed her. That's how she fell. Broke her neck. I saw a hooker and Nam get killed like that. Big, strong guy snapped her neck. Ah, uh, excuse me. Could you tell me who's in charge? Your reporter? Uh, yes. Hey, but... Raj. Lots of cat food in the kitchen, but no sign of any cat. Thanks, Tom. Give me a full ride up as soon as you can, huh? Look, uh, what's your name? Keegan. Miss Keegan, I'm very busy, and I don't like reporters. How'd you get in here? Oh, well, I'm old-fashioned. I use the front door. Doors are supposed to be locked. Linda was my sister. I was kind of rude out there, wasn't I? Yes. I'm sorry. You have a great smile. I'm Lane, Roger Lane. Hello, Lane, Roger Lane. It was uh, Miss Keegan? Just Keegan. You can drop the Miss. I knew your sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, I wish I knew her better. How did this happen? We just don't know. Could have been an accident. Might have been a suicide. We, uh, we haven't found a note yet. Suicide? Linda? I don't think so. I don't want to alarm you, but uh, there may have been somebody else in here with her last night. Well, what are you saying? Are you saying that this could have been a murder? I just don't know. What's a Keegan? Oh. <laughs> Clarissa Jane Louise. <laughs> Hi, Keegan. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, Lane Roger Lane, is it all right to miss someone when they're gone, even though you didn't miss them much when they were alive? Hey, Roger. Yeah? There's a pile of cigarette butts out here. Be right there. Yeah, I think it's okay to care. I think it's wonderful. I can't believe I told you my name. I haven't told anyone my name in ten years. I owe you one secret. <laughs> you know, you don't act much like a cop. You don't act much like a Clarissa.
Joe, babe. Mm, I miss you. Hi, Mary. Hey, Big Joe. Joe, hon, Chris is here. Hi, Chris. Uh, what a blessing when Billy Owens took over the theater. I don't like those horror shows. My Timmy's afraid of the dark now. The real horror shows, Billy Owens. Ew, he gives me the creeps. Look, there is nothing wrong with Billy. He's just less fortunate. My friend, the bleeding heart. Mary! I think she'd like to order. What's the soup of the day? Cream antelope intestine. It's real good. You gross, Mary. I'll have a hot dog and uh, some more coffee. Here, rower. Low cow burger plate, a side order of spaghetti, and a tap. Grease one down, skinny, ready to side. Mary, why do you always call out the food in such a funny way? You see, darling, we're here all day, every day, and it gets kind of boring otherwise. Kind of like having sex laying down all the time. he made a joke. I make jokes all the time. I happen to be a very funny person. I hate jokes. Susan Teresa over here made a joke. No shit. <laughs> Chris, uh, you have intracourse lying down all the time, don't you? Absolutely. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> I guess some people are a little strange. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have uh, no, no, much better. Oh, um, how about this? Good choice. I'm Mary Adams. Oh, hi, Keegan Lawrence. <laughs> hey, you're not the Keegan Lawrence, are you? to you. Uh, Hot so and sex on Thursdays in November. Geez, I never would have recognized you. Look, Chris, we're all upset about what happened last night. I just... Let's so not talk about it anymore. Christ, Linda and I went to school together since eighth grade. Isn't he the cutest thing? I love you, Tony Tush. <laughs> Come on, sit down. <laughs> You're not. Those ladies back there? That's Carol Bender, isn't no, it? No, Bailey. Married to Bob Bailey. And that's Chrissy Hollett. She's a little bit older than you all. She's divorced now. Uh, bet you know her sister Randy. She lives with him. Mm -hmm. I like Chrissy. That league of city. City is a shit. Susan Teresa Thomas was born a shit. Lane. Sooty Lane. Married about a year ago. Lane is in Roger Lane? Can you afford it? Hi, Sidney. Hello. 
Oh, you must really have changed, Keegan. Oh, my God, Keegan Lawrence. Hi, Carol. Hi, Chris. Hi. Sudi, I met your husband today. That's nice. Keegan, you look terrific, doesn't she, Sudi? Mary, why don't you bring us all some coffee so we can visit with our old friend? Okay, pour coffee. Mm. Oh, I'd love a piece of apple pie, a teeny piece. How about a little smidge of ice cream on the side, huh? Mm. Twisted my arm. And a tab. And put it all on my account and add a generous tip. So. Sooty, I love your hair. <laughs> We're all very upset about that. Will you be in town? Uh, I don't know. I guess um, I'll probably stay up the house a few days at least. Aren't you afraid? Ew, would it give me the creeps? Carol. What if the murderer comes back? What murderer? You watch too much television. Yeah, well, you remember John O'Reaver. Well, him and Corby Phillips found a car in Turnbull Woods, and there was a dead man inside with $400 in his pocket. Corby said he touched the body. Boy, the whole town was on edge. I heard the police hid in the woods for weeks, waiting for the killer to come back. What does all that have to do with anything? I don't know. That murderer never returned to the scene of the crime. Oh, Christ, those stairs are going to kill me. Here. Food for the cat. What's the movie? Uh, Horror of uh, Dracula's Castle. Hey, that sounds great. Hope they choke on the cartoon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Hey, listen, I can get us, uh, uh, the monster walks. Hey, terrific. What night? Monday, Tuesday. Maybe I'll bring some. Who? Keegan Lawrence. You know her? Yeah, sure. Linda's sister. Kind of plump, always telling jokes. No, she's great looking. Yeah? Yeah. Linda Lawrence. I miss that body. You know, her house was just like Dracula's castle up on that hill. Hey, this is a great movie. Dracula's got some guy by the throat. Ever try to strangle anybody with one hand? Huh? Never try to strangle anybody with one hand. It's almost impossible. Why? Because your thumb's too weak for the rest of your hand. But can't do it. Mummy always does it one-handed. Yeah, no, here. Try it on me. Go ahead. Do it for real. No, come on, do it. Do it for real. Tomb, Town of Fluid, and the Wolfman, and I got Dr. Jekyll, Creature, Frank Stein's Castle. All right, we're pretty even on that, but looks like you're ahead of me on the victim. Looks like you're taking me. What's this about Keegan Lawrence? Man, I just met her. I should like her. Man, this whole town is buzzing about Linda going through that window. Suicide, huh? Nah, no way. Wow, murder. Things are really picking up around here, aren't they? Well, it's the beginning. champion and 
perpetrator of the infamous Clarissa baby naming hoax, for which I will forgive you. Ooh! What the face? Oh, you look good, Mom. How's John? He's resting. It's been crowded. Yeah, I bet it was a zoo here last night. When did you get here? Yesterday morning. I know, I should have been here last Sarah night. Thomas baked a nice cake. You want a piece? Sarah Thomas? Ma, Sarah Thomas doesn't bake. The maid bakes the cakes. Sarah's too busy helping her daughter stick pins into idols. I hear her daughter married a handsome young man. Who, Lane? Now this is a tragedy. I mean, the man is five foot four. He has big ears, fat knees, and enormous boil on his neck. Have you, um, have you heard from Alvin Cutter lately? What's an Alvin Cutter? Oh, no, he didn't. What's this, another one of Shirley Hemphill's cousins? Oh, he's a friend of their married daughters. An Alvin yet? Oh, God, he's probably an accountant. I'm sure he uses number two pencils, probably has a small skin disorder, and writes checks with little sailboats on them. Terrific. And I'll be Keegan Cutter. Oh, God, the look. Oh, anything but the look. All right. I'll see him. I'll go out with him. I'll let him jump on my bones, anything you want. I'll even show him the Bavarian basket trick. I haven't been eating. Do you need any money? I miss you too long. Oh. It's just that Cheryl Hampton was from. And it just wouldn't look good for the kid to be seen. Boys are going to be in a foul mood tonight. What's the score? Five, two. Who's winning? Ramsey, the bad guy. garbage on front of Carol? Mm -hmm. Well, I figure Carol can't go more than about 35 minutes in between meals, and we started at 11 o'clock, so it must be, uh, 12.45. Em, you're crazy. Careful! Don't scream! Don't scream! I guess that he's not coming by. If that belonged to me, I'd sure keep a closer watch on him. Sweaty men make me real horny. <laughs> Ew, Wendy, gross. I've read there's a lot of that going around. They've all got them. Bobby? Sit over here with us. Well, he's alone, except for Roger. Yeah. I've never seen him on the theater, except for here. Never misses a game. Why isn't he playing? 
Oh, well, he can't run. Christ, he can hardly breathe. His body's all screwed up. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, well, uh, they say he's lucky to be alive. Oh. Apparently, uh, he's probably half dead from a hand grenade when old Golden Boy fought his way in and dragged him out to a medic. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nice try, Twinkle Toes. Nice try. Okay, which one of you guys wants to catch one? How long have we been playing together? Two years? So just throw me the damn ball and we'll win the ball game, okay? Now, snap the ball to Ken. Ken, you pitch out to Joe. Phil, you do a short down and out. Tom, you go deep to draw away the safety. I'm going to do it down and across, Joe. See that tree over there? Just throw the ball at the tree. Now, don't wait for me. Just throw the ball at the tree and I'll be there. I'm too. Roger. All right, right. Just like in school, man. Hey, guys, I got a split. What? It's five to four. Where the hell are you going? I promised Carol I'd take her shopping. <laughs> well, next week, huh? Hey, great catch, Roger. God, he's got big hands, doesn't he? Well, you know what they say. Big hands, big something else. You mean... Can you imagine Joe? Hon, I wasn't born smiling. <laughs> we'll see you later, Big Joe. Man, when Roger caught that last pass, it was so beautiful, I could have kissed him. <laughs> the tendencies, what can you do? <laughs> Keegan Lawrence. Remember me? Hey, Lawrence. Hey. Now, that was a pretty fair catch there, Lane. Don't you think, though, you could have gotten closer to the tree? Billy, you remember Keegan's smart-ass Lawrence, don't you? Uh, I'd oh. love to stay here and chat, but, um, I promised Mary and Joe I would meet them, so... Hey, Lane! Nice pass. I also make a pretty fair strong side safety. Nice ass. a pool flower here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How about if I grab seven or eight others and we have a wild nine-way? <gasps> Joseph Adams, I am shocked. Are you suggesting an orgy? Do you want me to be in the middle of an enormous flesh sandwich? Are you kidding? I'm afraid the only thing this group can manage is a little sneaky infidelity. Oh, got any dirt? No, Keeg. Oh, no, come on. You're no fun. Let's ditch. Well, see the blonde by the doorway? I don't know personally, but she's been known to uh, travel a little. The name's Lucy. Oh, all right, Lucy. Then there's Bobby Bailey. Oh, oh yes. He definitely has wandering eyes. I see. Watch the hands, Roger. Do you think that maybe Bobby Bailey and Juicy Lucy are an item? 
Well, I don't know. Oh, come on. Who? Linda? Then there's Mary Adams. Now, just occasionally, mind you. She might be found at a local disco with a wayward look in her eye. You know, thinks a guy's sexy. She'd die if she thought I knew. You're serious, sir. I'm not upset, Kate. I'm in love. Who else marry me? Well, I would marry you. Oh. You look very pretty tonight. Oh. Well, gee whiz, Rog. I guess you caught the old man with his hand in the cookie jar. It must be difficult going through life crotch first. <laughs> That's a new dress. Are you policing my lovers now, Roger? He's pathetic. Oh, but he buys me lots of wonderful things. Where in the hell have you been for the last couple weeks? You're wearing your hair differently. It's very nice. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed, asshole. Look, what do you want anyway, cop? What do you want? Did I commit a crime? Look, I can screw whoever I want to screw. <laughs> That's right. Just stand there. You're a creep. You're such a creep. I don't need any more creeps in my life. I'm tired of them. Action's picked up a lot around here since Linda got killed. Or haven't you heard? Now, you're too busy peeping in other people's windows, aren't you? That's how you get off, isn't it? Don't be crude. Oh, what's wrong? Don't you like your horse crude? <sighs> you're a lousy lover anyway. I wish I'd never been with you or we'd made it in the first place. Yeah, just go away, go away, get out of here, go screw half of the town. You and that freak friend of yours. Don't you ever talk about him again.
warm? Yeah. Always look this good in the morning? Always. Must you put your feet on the counter? Your father called the station this morning. How many times have I asked you not to wear your gun in the house? Is what do you want? Your father? Dad? He's just concerned, like we all are, about the uh, death. Do you think it was the same person? Murderer? See, I don't know. He didn't leave a note. How can this be happening? How did she die? She drowned. We're fishing her out right now. What does she look like? Oh, never mind. I don't want to know. She was an excellent swimmer. How? She was tied underwater. Oh, don't tell me. Somehow the wire was wrapped around her leg and then tied. I asked you not to. Tell me. I don't want to hear all the gory details. The worst part was her face. It had this horrible expression on it. it. Must be awful to know you're gonna die. Gasping for air. Oh, I should have seen her face. She must have struggled to get away, because because there was a pool of blood all around her from that wire cutting into her leg. You enjoyed that, didn't you? You know how I hate it. That's why you do it, isn't it? You love it. Just like when you tell those hideous war stories. Where are you going? To be with Chris. Goody. Bang. You're dead. My father's right. You're sick. Shoot. Uh huh. What's a five letter word for a four letter word? It describes a vital part of the female life. No, don't tell me. No, no, I can get this one. I know the answer. I don't know the answer. All right. All right, you can give me a clue. But only to the four letter word. Words. Mary Adams, you are filthy! Filthy! What? It's a five letter word. Um. Yeah, this one is easy for me. Sookie. <laughs> she always wants one. <laughs> huh? Uh. Listen, 
Wait a second. I don't get it. Oh, come on, that silly. No. No, it is not spooky being in this house alone. The shower. Yes, I saw the picture. No, no, no. I don't think Norman Bates was here. Right? Pam, will you stop this? Because it is spooking me. What? No, I'm fine. I like this house, and I have got to take a shower. Otherwise, there will be no more dates for Gigan. Get it? Frank. Yes. Yes, I'll be careful. Fine. No. No, I don't look like Janet Lee. Em, I'm hanging up now. I'm hanging up. Goodbye. Very attractive. Ah! Oh! 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 It's you. I frightened you. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm fine, really. <clears throat> now, this is really silly of me. How did you get in? Ah, yes. I should have known. <sighs> I can't think of anything to say, and I look like an old rag. I really shouldn't have dropped in like this. I just wanted to make sure you're getting along all right. Ah, uh, don't go, please. I thought you needed someone to talk to. I mean, this can't have been your favorite time. I do, and it wasn't. I think he's got it in for me. Who? I mean... A man shows up, you get no clothes, no makeup, and wet stringy hair. Now you have 11 seconds to look attractive. Go! I didn't make it. I kind of like it. Oh, sure. It's true. I mean, look at me. I look like... An old rag mop. Now, who would want to take out a rag mop with wet, stringy hair and an old towel on her head? Are you asking me out? No. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's not that I wouldn't go out with you. It's just a little unusual. Uh, rag mops with towels on their head don't normally go out until at least March or April.
You're sick? Are you still frightened? Great fire, huh? Mm-hmm. You know, I really miss a good fire in the city where I live and where I work. Oh, really, Keegan, where do you work? Well, you know something? I'm glad you asked because I'm a writer and I work in a music magazine. Although I am thinking of moving to Minneapolis and working in the newsroom. Do you know that Mary Adams told me you were in Vietnam with Billy Owens? What's it like being married to Sooty? God, it must be awful. The war! The war must be awful, not being married to Sooty. Oh, God, do you always kiss strange people? No, you're the strangest. Oh, I knew it. I'm talking too much, aren't I? I do. I talk too much sometimes. Oh. Great fire, huh? Oh, you were my first cop kiss. Married cop kiss. Sidney and I don't see very much of each other. She has someone who looks good at parties, and I have enough money. Does that satisfy you? Who asked? You knew Linda pretty well, didn't you? I believe all of this has happened. I mean, I expected to walk through that door any second. It's just... I can't get used to the nothingness, you know? I mean, never seeing her again. seem real to me. I guess the war was like that. Well. I like the war. Private screening. You, me, and Bill. That. I need that light. We can sit together, Harry. I told you we should have left earlier. That's it. Harry, tell the man to remove his hat. Lucille, you always do this, don't you? Adorable. <laughs> funny. Too much to hope for. What? 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 I paid three dollars. I want to see the picture. Happy now. You don't mind nails thrust into your arm. You sure do scare easily, don't you? Is he dead, Doctor? No, he's still breathing. Harry, is that animal out of his cage? No, sir. Want a beer? 
Beer? Up here and sit next to me. Okay. Clean the hand that murdered Mrs. Krug. But I think we got a chance this time. Scary movie. Rude. 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 You want a beer, Lane? Yeah. I forced him to do it. Oh, wait, wait. Who do you mean? I almost forgot. Ta-da! Oh. <laughs> Is that something? I think I love this girl. About another beer. Good idea. Okay. Boy, this bronze is gonna drink us under the table. What's wrong with that? I happen to like the beer. Just get it open. Yes. But you people be quiet. Some of us are trying to watch the film. Boy, some people, you know what I mean? That really wasn't a very scary movie. No, piece of cake. Think my arm will ever heal? Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, I'll kiss it. No, I'll tell you what. Kiss me here, and I'll pass it on. Oh. Could we continue this in a minute? What's the matter? Ladies' room. Oh, it's right over there. I'll tell you what, I'll meet you downstairs. You get on the stairs back there, up the aisle, on the stage, make a left, and then get down the stairs. Billy will be down as soon as he closes up. All right? Gotcha. Is your overactive imagination working again? It's just quiet. That does not mean that there's something wrong. Well, what if it's two o'clock in the morning and you've just seen a monster film? And you're all alone in a dark movie theater.
o'clock. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry, really. Come on. Is she okay? Yeah, she's all right. She's just a little scared, that's all. Wait. It's okay. You didn't have any lights on. Well, Billy never has any lights on. He knows every inch of this place. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's no reason to be scared. Did you know we'd never let anything happen to you? Huh? Yeah. I guess I just had too much beer. <laughs> Victim. Billy, you are winning. He's winning. <coughs> Will you roll? This isn't me. It's, uh, it's, I mean, I'd like to, but it's just, uh, it's not that important, okay? I recognize these tears I'd like to be important. I don't want to be alone this time. Have you ever said anything like that? And yeah, yeah. Give me a call. I want you here.
all dressed up and no place to go. I'm on level B. Is there anyone else nearby? Stranger, buy me a drink? Sure. What do you have? Well, I think I'll have a glass of red wine in your next free evening. What are you up to? Well, you like to catch passes. I thought I'd throw one. You're gonna burn yourself. You, uh... You working tonight? I guess. It's too bad, I... Thought maybe we could play house, or uh, how about if uh, I pretend I'm a hooker and uh, you arrest me? Only uh, we do a little negotiation. Oh, oh, there's a cute little Art Miller. Hi, Art. Wonder who his date is tonight. I go to my apartment. It's a little too noisy here to talk. Well, uh hon, -huh, you don't have to ask twice. So, uh, how come uh, I haven't seen this place before? about a guy with the kind of records he has around.
Excuse me. I tried to call you all day. Keegan, last night in the city, he tried to kill me. What? In the parking lot. I, he was so strong. I, two men came along and he left. Uh, black. Oh, hold on, Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy. Keegan, I'm Just, sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. Now, what was black? He was all black. Uh, his gloves, uh, his clothes. He, he wore a black mask, you know, a ski cap with the, with the eyes cut. I'll never forget them. They were, they were, they weren't real. They're were cold and he seemed familiar. Does that sound crazy? No, no. Oh God! I wish this nightmare would be over. I would love to just wake up without this night. God, are you okay? Yeah, uh, that is a stupid question. No, no, no. I feel better. I, I gotta go. Tom's waiting for me in the car. All right, now listen, I'm going to be home in a little while, and I'm, I'm just going to stay here for a while and see if someone shows up I was looking for. Will you call me if you need me? You promise? Okay. You take care. Okay. I know. It's going to be okay. Bye, honey. There's still no answer. I guess she's not home yet. Look, I'm just gonna go over there. I'm sure she'll be back by the time I get there. Are you sure? You want me to stay with you? No, no, no. Roger needs you, so you go ahead. I'll be all right. You sure?
tell you, we try to play the tube that night. That are the kinds of dudes you and I both like a lot and keep us trucking when the night is still young. So you stay.
Goodbye.